Yes, we can! These parents are fed up. Their kids go to McKinley Elementary in Compton, California. It's a tough town, and the school is one of the worst in the state, ranked in the bottom 10%. That looks like a two. Shamika Murphy says her second grader is still reading at a first grade level. She signed a petition, along with 62% of McKinley parents, forcing the school district to make it a charter school, publicly funded but privately run. We want to turn in this petition. Yes. It's the first use of California's so-called parent trigger law, where a majority of parents can demand a school shut down, change staff, or become a charter. We want it to be peaceful. We're not trying to start a war. We just want a better education for our children. But it has become a nasty fight. Some parents now say they were tricked or intimidated into signing the petition. If enough of them withdraw their signatures, this whole trigger effort could backfire. I've heard countless dozens of accounts of misleading, lying. Yet those calling for reform say they're the ones being threatened, told their kids will be kicked out of school or parents could be deported. It's, it's sad how my son told me last time that he hated me because of, all this, of what I'm doing. Governor Schwarzenegger is now calling for an investigation. These parents are also getting support from Michelle Ree, former head of Washington, D.C. schools and the darling of the reform movement. If what we want is more parental involvement, then when the parents get involved, you, you, you can't create a hostile environment. McKinley teachers say they are shell-shocked, given that their state test scores have jumped nearly 13 percent in the past two years. It is very hurtful to hear how hard we see how hard we work here and then hear the rest of the country talk about us as if we're doing nothing. We're a great school. We're on the men. But some parents say their kids can't afford to wait for bad to get better. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Compton.